morning, everyone. Um, I'd like to reiterate Kevin's welcome to the Emergency Budget Action Meeting. And it's fantastic to see so many of you here. And I think I commented to a couple of people as well um, just earlier on. It's good to see faces that we know, but it's also good to see there's new people as well. And I hope you'll all take the opportunity to get to know each other. Um, I'm hoping that you've noticed that I'm not Kevin Lyles, as was billed on the programme. Um, Kevin actually is at Leicester Together Executive Meeting this morning, and he'll be joining us as soon as he can. Um, it was felt important that, that we remain to be um, involved in that, um, even though this event was going on. Um, we're calling this an action meeting and not a conference, because it's very much a working session. So you'll hear a little bit from speakers this morning, but most of the day is going to be handed over to you. We want to understand how cuts are affecting communities and the other changes that are happening. But most of all, we want today to decide together what we can do about the changes. I think we realise that what's happening now is almost unprecedented in terms of the scale and speed of some of the cuts. There was 25% cut to average across departments with some budgets protected announced in the emergency budget over the life of the Parliament. And I think we also heard that departments were also being asked to draw up budgets with proposed 40% cut and the impact of that. Um, that's probably unlikely to happen, but certainly we need to be getting together to think about the impact. We'll find out the detail by department in October. <coughs> Um, as to where those cuts are going to be felt most. Alongside of that, there's a very different view of the role of the voluntary and community sector. We are all here in the sector and in this room today because we care <coughs> about the communities we live in and we care about our local environment. These are challenging times, but maybe they'll prompt us to think a little bit differently about some of the things that we do. They're times that prompted us all to get together in this room today and to talk about the way in which we do things. There's lots of things we do brilliantly already, but maybe there are some things that we could do better together, or we could do things slightly differently. I think we all agree with the aspirations of the big society. We want a group in every community. We want more than a group in every community. And we want every adult and children involved in their local community, whether that's involved in formal groups, or whether that's involved in terms of uh, general neighborliness um, we'd like to see in people's neighborhoods, helping out um, people who need help because they're vulnerable or being involved in organising community activities that we all like to be involved in. In fact, we already do the big society, not only getting people involved, but also helping communities to influence and helping deliver public services and influence the way that public services are delivering it. So we need to make sure that we're emphasising that this is what we do as our bread and butter work. We can create more together than any of us can individually create on our own. Val is hosting this meeting today, and I'd like to take this opportunity to thank the work of the policy team, Krista and Kevin, and every member of staff in the policy team that's worked tirelessly to bring you all here, and hopefully to make this event a success. But this isn't Val's meeting, this is everybody's meeting. And it's important that everybody here is participating in shaping the future. So we don't have to wait for government to decide what it wants to do in the emergency budget and we don't have to wait for local public services to make decisions. We need to be involved in influencing and we need to get on with saying this is what we think, this is what we think is right and we want to work in partnership in order to shape the future. We might have, there are various, we know there are various thoughts about what's going on at the moment. But we are where we are and what we need to think about is the best future today with what we have. We've faced difficult times before as a sector and as communities and we have continued to thrive and develop. And we know that we can be a real resource to help communities through these times and we need to make sure that everybody else knows that as well. Um, for those of you that were involved in the Urban Forum meeting earlier in the year, Urban Forum is a national organisation and they run a series of roadshows around the country um, talking about the big society, what is the big society. 
And for those of you who are involved, you might have seen the feedback from that. They, ident Le they identified Leicester and Leicestershire as bucking the trend. They came here and they found us positive, they found us suggesting solutions, and they found us willing to work together. Um, and I think that's something that we need to celebrate and, and take forward today. So today isn't just a one-off event. Some of you have been involved already through networks, through consultations. And in particular, I'd like to thank the people who've been involved in the sounding boards during August, which helped to shape this event. Um, and their names are up on the walls on those posters that say, thank you. We want to continue this. This is just, I'm going to say the start, but actually this is the middle of something. By the end of today, we want to have a clearer understanding of the impact of changes. So we want to bring all the information that you as individuals and organisations have together in order to think about what we can influence, what we can respond to, and how we will work together. We'll be identifying actions to take forward from today. Val staff will support all of you in carrying forward the things that, that you want to do, um, organising meetings, providing information and doing what we need to do. But more than that, I'm hoping today will inspire you as individuals, as organisations, at work, in your communities where you live, to go away and do things that don't need anybody else necessarily to coordinate and organise. I'm going to finish with some words from Margaret Wheatley, who is someone who's been very important in talking about how we have conversations that matter and how we have conversations that make a difference. We want you to make the most of today. And we want you to ask what's possible, not to get hung up in what's wrong. Because it's by asking what's possible that we create the future that we want. You've already been catching up with people you know, um, and we want you to as well to talk to people who you don't know, people who you don't normally talk to, and listen to what they have to say. Everyone in this room is an expert in something, and everybody in this room is here because they care about something. And we need to believe that by meeting together and working together, we can actually change the world, because the quality of life of communities across Leicester and Leicestershire is going to depend on it. As before, as I said before, these are challenging times and they're going to be challenging for many of you as individuals, for organisations, for your families and communities. I would like to be able to look back on this point and say I'm proud of how the sector in Leicester and Leicestershire has worked together to meet the, to meet the challenges and worked together to make a difference to the lives of people who we live with and work with. Thank you.